How to use your own image in Leonardo AI. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showing you how you will be able to utilize your own portraits or your own images inside of Leonardo. Now, there are multiple reasons why people would like to use their own images in Leonardo. Now, based on what you're seeing right now on our recent creations, based on the community feed, you are able to see that Leonardo is very capable of creating amazing images with different ranges of style and creativity. And of course, one would be very curious on what would happen if they added or they used their images inside of Leonardo. For example, I could upload an image of myself and ask what I would look like if I was Genghis Khan. So, we will be able to be exploring those type of possibilities in today's video. Now, what are the uses of those types of photos, if you ask me? Now, personally, if I created a very amazing output using my own photo, I would post it on social media and brag about how good Leonardo is and show them how amazing my image would turn out to. So that's what we're going to do. So over here in Leonardo, the main feature that we will be using is the image generator. Now, the image generator contains a specific feature that would allow us to utilize images of ourselves or even random things. And over here, this is the AI generation sections. As you can see here, there's a, a lot of images that I have already previously generated. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the image guidance over here in the center. You won't get lost because it's all going to be here in like the center. You have your prompt section, your model, dynamics, elements, negative prompt. And over here, you have generation history, prompt generation, and finally, image guidance. Now, the image guidance basically allows us to use an image or an image prompt and use this image as a source image, wherein the image will influence the features of our generation. So... That means that our image will have a certain effects on the generated output. So, uh, for example, right now, this is incompatible because image prop requires prop magic version 2. So, that is something we should enable over here. So, where is it? Uh, disable this. There we go. Prop magic. And let's enable. So, now our image input or image prop will now work as you can see here. So, uh, what this basically does is that it will detect the style and semantics of the input image and this will be used to guide your image generation. So if you uploaded your own photo, so let's get a photo over here. Oops, uh, what we're supposed to do is to click on upload image output and then click and drag. There we go. You will be able to upload an image whether it's a PNG, JPEG or web. And as you can see here, I got an example image over here from Pexels. If you don't know this platform, Pexels is a great platform to get royalty-free photos. You can even use the photos available over here to experiment in Leonardo. And coincidentally, this is the platform I will be using uh, to get an image of a person or a portrait. So imagine this is a photo of ourselves or our own photo. When you upload the photo, you will notice that there is settings over here. There, you can notice that there is strength. So the higher the strength, as you can see here on the description, the higher the value, the more strongly guided the output. While the lower the value, it allows more creativity for interpretation. So the lower this is, the AI will be as creative as possible. But the higher this is, the more your original photo will be kept. So I would like to try three versions. The default version, wherein it's 0.45, and the middle version or like a middle version or a middle level where everything is balanced and then one with a high level of strength and see the difference between those two levels now there are other types of image uh, generation or image prompts as well but right now those are premium versions as you can see such as depth to image edge to image post to image and text image out but anyway let's proceed with this one uh let's choose a random prompt now for me, what I like to do is I would like to like search through the different community images over here and look for a style that I really like. For example, this one. So we would like to copy this. 
and paste it over here and it use absolute reality uh, but I guess for us for a model we could use that one for now and simply click on generate and now it will generate output over here as you can see it's generating four images over here you will be able to control the amount of images that you want to be uh, generated over here on the left side the higher this is the more expensive uh, generating will be as you can see it will use 32 tokens and we only have 150 tokens a day so you have to be careful with your token generation and as you can see this is our output over here uh, if you compare the similarities there's actually a lot of similarities between our original image which is this one and this one as you can see here although the character has been turned more on uh, Japanese character so let's try again let's make it a higher level go at 70 and click on generate and let's see the output we will be able to get and compare it and while this is generating we could also actually generate with a higher level right now select that now while waiting for these two output let's actually look for another style over here and let's see a different style that we would like to see our design on so for example i could get like maybe an illustration uh, there was a style that I saw earlier that I really wanted to try. Let's see if I will be able to find it again. Uh, I guess uh, maybe this one, but that's. I guess we could do this one over here. So let's check out this one. There we go. As you can see, uh, this one is a level that has a middle, middle ground. So you could see some similarities like the beard. It's there. The top is also like missing over here you can see the uh, top similarities it's still maintaining the style of our prop of course and this one has the highest uh, level over here and i think it's the one with the closest uh output between this one and this one because of course it has the highest level of a uh, strike over here so let's do it again but this time uh with a different style with like this one over here and let's generate it and while waiting let's generate one uh with a very low strength over here uh let me just generate one image so that we could conserve our token there we go so let's wait for this one to load and let's compare uh, all our different outputs from earlier so while waiting uh, let's compare this one this one was the default level and you can see the uh, similarities with the basis that we got this one has the middle ground, it has more color, targeting the color of our main character. And this one over here, which is the closest out of all the output we got it. And also this one, as you can see, we have our uh, samurai style over here. But you could notice, you could actually identify like the uh, suspender style over here. It's actually getting that suspender style as well, as you can see here. And this one has a low level, so the AI has a higher level of creativity. So I guess it was able to uh, have a creative output and not limited by the style and appearance of our image over here. So that's basically it, guys. You just basically use it as a guide for your outputs. It's not always going to be exactly the same, but it will have close resemblance depending on the strength of the image. So that's basically it guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.